It might seem odd to think that a country would change its name, but it's happened in history more times than you may possibly expect, and it could even happen again in the future. Now remember, these are all coulds. I'm not saying any of these are definitely going to happen, nor am I saying I want or don't want any of these to happen. But I spend a lot of these videos talking about what has happened in the world of names, so maybe it could be fun to look at what might happen in the world of names. There are three main reasons why a country would change their name. It could be because the country splits into smaller nations, multiple nations merge into one big nation, or because a country just decides to change its name. Let's delve into a couple examples of countries that could fall into one of these categories, and maybe even look into what name these countries could take on. So let's look at countries that might just change their name. The Czech Republic, while its name still being officially just that, has in recent years started to adopt a new name for itself, Czechia. Czechia comes from the fact that the Czech Republic found itself without a single word geographical name for itself in the fallout of splitting apart from Slovakia. Czechia was proposed as a name people should start using more for the nation and while it's a name now registered within the United Nations database as the official short name for the nation, one the president uses in speeches, and one that's even on Google Maps. Czechia doesn't seem to have gained as much traction from the people who should be using it most, the Czech people, so for now its name officially stays as the Czech Republic, but if Czechia were to gain more traction with the people, perhaps we'd lose the Czech Republic in favour of just Czechia in the future. In recent years, the president of Kazakhstan has become grated with the country being mixed together with its fellow Stan bordering nations. On February 6th, 2014, Kazakhstan's president suggested that the nation's name be changed to Kazakh Yeli, meaning Land of the Kazakhs. This name has been met with a mixed response, mixed due to the fact that some don't want the name to change at all, and others who do don't like the suggested Kazakh Yeli. Kazakhia has also been proposed, but some nationalists have found it sounds a little too much like Rosia, the Russian name for Russia. The president has stated that if the name were to change, it would come to a public decision, but no sort of referendum or public vote on the matter seems to have been set in stone as of yet. So while the nation is Kazakhstan for now, perhaps in the future the nation may be called Kazakh Yeli. So what about nations that might come together? The unification of Romania and Moldova has been in talks for many years now. Moldova have faced much political and economic struggle in recent years, and many feel that the only way to conquer that is to make economic and cultural ties with neighbouring Romania, and eventually merge together as one nation. It seems that if this were to happen, as opposed to both nations losing their names, only Moldova would lose its name as it becomes part of Romania, although personally I think Moldmania is an awesome name. On the continent of Africa, there's a chance that not just two countries will unify and lose their names, but six countries. A proposed concept of politically unifying six sovereign states including Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania and Uganda has been in talks for a while now and that single sovereign state will be called the East African Federation. This is more than just a preposition however as other factors have been accounted for. English would be the official language but Swahili would be the lingua franca of the nation. Arusha in Tanzania would be the capital of the nation. These six nations are currently in what is called the East African Community, which is thought to be the precursor to the East African Federation. But the unification of the EAF however seems to keep on getting delayed, but the possibility of these nations coming together and the names of the nations disappearing is something that could happen in the future. So what about countries that could split up, thus making nation names disappear? Well, let's talk about Belgium. Belgian people don't speak Belgian. The nation has three official languages. A variation of Dutch known as Flemish, French and German. Flemish is primarily spoken in the north of the country and French is spoken in the south, along with a small area where German is present. While Brussels, the capital of Belgium, is in the Flemish half of the nation, Flemish and French are spoken there equally. These three languages divide the nation into two regions. The Flemish speaking community in the north is called Flanders and the French and German speaking community in the south is known as Wallonia. It's this Flanders-Wallonia divide where people feel the country should be split. Some citizens of Flanders say that they are Flemish, not Belgian, and that they have very little to do with the Walloons in the south. The language divide within the nation affects everything from public libraries to football teams. And while it seems to make sense that Belgians should split into two smaller nations of Flanders and Wallonia, there'd be the issue of Brussels being completely in Flanders. And of course, there are always Belgians who don't want to split up. Around 75% of Belgians living in the Flanders region said that they are proud of their nationality and would describe themselves as Belgian, not Flemish. So maybe Belgium isn't going anywhere soon. 
So of course I couldn't talk about nations that might split up without mentioning my home nation of the UK. Of course the UK is short for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and is made out of four smaller countries, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Yet some people of one of these nations wish to be set free, the Scottish. In a 2014 referendum on Scottish independence, 44.7% voted saying yes for Scotland to leave the UK, only being narrowly defeated by 55.3% who voted to remain. But things have changed since 2014 and with talks of another referendum on the horizon, that narrow lead the Remain vote had could be squashed, leaving the United Kingdom without a Scotland. While the nation could still probably be known as the UK for short, its full name would need to change. It could be the United Kingdom of Britain and Northern Ireland, as Britain only became great when Scotland got involved or the United Kingdom of England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Other names suggested include future United Kingdom and former United Kingdom. Both good ideas but they kind of fail when you realise what the abbreviation would be.